Welcome back to the 14th of remaking Hotline Miami in Game Maker Studio. And today, as you can see, I ramped up a little bit the sprites. So now we have a minigun and an Uzi. And what I also did is create a different kind of sprites. For example, if we are holding a weapon. So basically one when we are holding one. So and here, as you can see, all the ones are different. Of course, the shooting we will not do today. This will be for another video. And then boom, we have completely different kind of sprites concerning what we are holding. So for example, the gun, the knife, or the SMG, or well, the other ones. As you can see, this is what we're gonna do. Sweet, sweet, sweet stuff. And here, a little thing from my side. So there was this request to put it on itch.io so now i did so here this will be of course updated all the time so if you want to hold get hold of the whole project with the sprites inside and use them for your own project hey you go uh, here it is but of course hey if you don't want it this was a special request so let's get rid of that stuff and let's go actually into our project because we want to do a few things so the first thing which i like to do with you guys is to renew our cycle and therefore what are we going to do we want to for now we have passed in from uh well our player to the throw weapon to the pickup one and then back to the and we had the circle and what we did here we gave here a sprite and then the, the sprite was passed into the pickup and then um, depending what kind of sprite we're having here then the player was having a different kind of weapon uh, well he was holding a different one but now we're gonna do the whole spiel once again but with ammunition so we have a pickup weapon and it has an ammunition and that ammunition is getting passed in into the so from the throw weapon into the pickup and from the pickup to the player and then player is holding the ammunition and then sweet now I can shoot something and then you can actually use this ammunition. Of course, if you throw the weapon away, you throw it away with the ammunition which the weapon is holding. So you're not saying like, ah, I'm just going to throw the weapon, but ammo stays with me. Because I guess that would, would make sense in a normal world, but in the Hotline Miami, you throw it away with the weaponry. <laughs> Great game design, plus plus one. But never mind, this is actually a good way how to structure that so here let's do the easy peasy part so first of all where do we start let's go for example with our object pickup weapon let's go into our create and then we create a variable which already is there shouldn't be here aye, aye, aye. Um, we just call it amu pickup because it's inside the pickup and then ammunition throw and then of course ammunition player so we know uh, from where this whole circle is starting so let's take the ammunition pickup and for example once the player is picking up the weapon before it's getting destroyed we say like hey give me your ammunition which you're holding so we say other and then amu player which we haven't created for now and then we are giving the player because he's picking up uh, the ammunition from the weapon and of course the weapon also then he's grabbing the ammunition also and then therefore just go into our player where are you where are your objects player here we go and then create um, this variable and of course at the beginning it is zero and one thing for example if we are throwing away the weapon here then of course we are throwing away the ammunition also so we just say like bye bye you are zero so this is where we do this and of course we need to go into our weapon throw and we have no ammo here so ammo ammunition throw here we go Set it at the beginning of course to zero but this is of course getting overwritten and then we do the same spiel in here so we're just creating once it's not being well flying around then we say like hey sweet let's give 
the ammunition which you're holding to the pickup which we are creating and then ammunition pickup here we go and this is getting passed in from the throw instance and then of course the last thing which we need to do we need to go into our player because here this is the last link we need to do for example if we are throwing a weapon then we say hey throw weapon your ammunition so ammo throw is the one the ammunition which the player is holding because hey he is a dummy <laughs> and he doesn't save that for the next weapon so here we go boom and this is how it works and now the circle uh, works but of course this is a little theoretical and therefore we want actually to see how much ammunition we're having so we're gonna create uh, objects and then we can test it this is the great part so object control there we go give it a nice little sprite a nice little icon and then of course place the sucker um, inside the room because this one is very important here tons of things will be set up and then later overwritten and therefore we are gonna do some tweaking only in this object which is holding tons of values and therefore it is uh, very convenient and uh, I guess um, a good way to practice this because these control objects which are holding tons of stuff are very convenient way to do some tweaking so let's say you have finished most of the stuff but you want to uh, tweak a little bit uh, how fast you're shooting how fast you're moving and so on and all those things you can store on some variables in a control object this is what i do normally and therefore um, here i just do the tweaking and then i don't have to go for example inside the player and then maybe some other object and then if the project is getting bigger and bigger and bigger then you at some point maybe lose a little bit track of where stuff is and therefore it makes sense to store a lot of things into one huge persistent object control and this one or for example singular ones which are controlling and then setting up um, the little things which you want to tweak and adjust and for now we just give it a little variable which we call debug here we go and then set it to true and this is then our fake debug mode because we can, can we can actually have a debug here and check it out but eh, let's do it the easy way this is what i do normally too so this is one of my practices you don't have to repeat it if you think this is completely stupid <laughs> this is up to you if you want to eh, copy my stuff then what i normally do i just say like hey if then our object control come on no, oh, I say control, control, here we go. Now debug is true. I want to draw a few things. So I just draw a text because sometimes things are not working out the way I want and then stuff is getting frustrating and I just want to read out a few things. This is one of the things which I then do. Of course here we can use the debug in a lot of other objects and then they are giving, you can see the values live uh, during uh, gameplay and this is the the idea behind it and so therefore you say draw text which one do we want to draw, draw draw text transformed and then x y let's go for minus 40 let's go 40 and then say hey text one which we haven't created we already did in the other time oh whoa, whoa. okay so <laughs> let's uh, pretend you didn't see that so because uh, i am recording this for the third time now so basically i just say hey object control debug and then closing it and then i'm uh, creating a variable which i call text one and text two and then i'm storing two things in there first of all the uh, the kind of the word which is saying like ammunition dot dot and then it's saying hey how much ammunition which we are having because and of course if you want to put strings together then you cannot have a string and a number because 
ammunition player is a number this is the 0 15 182 so this is not how it works so basically you have to wrap it around into this little thing which is converting the real number into a string and then two strings you can put together with a plus and then boom you get a longer word which is another string so basically you just cluster things together and it becomes uh yeah 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 so hopefully that was <laughs> too confusing for you guys and of course then i draw this stuff above the player so let's check it out uh, if it's all working correctly okay this is good so above our head we have weapon and then it says nothing because at the beginning our weapon is nothing this is an empty string so basically just to uh, again the fusion and then of course ammunition zero so let's pick up a weapon so let's go for, for example for this one it says aka and then ammo is zero which is wrong so why is that because we did a little arrangement in here and our first start value of our ammunition of our pickup is zero so normally you uh, well destroy an enemy and then he's creating a pickup and this is getting inherited a value for example how much ammunition it has left but now we just have a zero value and then zero is getting passed around and then zero is pretty bad for us because we want to shoot a little bit so therefore we say ammunition and then pick up let's go i don't know for 60 so we can just copy paste that into the other ones so this is just a dummy and let's go for here for i don't know 20 or something like this and now it should pass in the value so ammunition zero now we are having 60 oh, for example if you're collecting the this one it is 20 but of course it's saying like hey uh, what kind of weapon we ha are we having and how many ammunition it has sweet yeah let's let's make this quickly so basically the next thing which we can do is create a shot uh, obj shot this would be a very cheap one like uh, the <laughs> throw uh, weapon so basically we'll do a rapid fire thing for now give it a nice little sprite uh, gameplay no icons player ah, here we go and this one is just basically a pretty neat little thing which is glowing by itself so here four frames nice now this is an empty thing which we want to create in our player in the step event. And let's go quickly into our control because I don't want to have all the time. Yeah, let's let's keep it. My bad, I'm just a little bit too fast for myself as it seems. So the next thing which we want to do is shooting because shooting is always good. So let's go shooting. Bam. And then we say like, hey, shooting is with our left mouse button so we just say like hey we copy that stuff because this is easy peasy stuff so we say like hey mouse check button release then mouse button lift boom and then we need to check hey do we have actually ammunition we ammo player and it is bigger than zero this is kind of important and therefore every time we pick up a weapon with ammunition then we can only shoot which is the important part and then we don't say check button release we just say a button which is just keeping the left mouse button pressed and then of course we have rapid fire which we want for our uh, stuff and then of course we say hey instance create and here we do tons of adjustment create layer not sure what the issue ah yeah i guess that's it Let's create layer I'm not sure why he's not taking my stuff in why are you not doing this what's the issue what is the issue Blah, 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 blah. Hmm. Let's kill that. We're working now. 
Yes, it's working. Not sure why that is. And the mission player is bigger than zero. This still works. All right. Not no idea why that wasn't working. So instance create layer. Here we go. Guess it's not keeping up with me. Haha, <laughs> I'm faster than my PC. This is not good. <laughs> this is really not good, by the way. Um, instances and then object uh, shot. Here we go. Oh, come on. This is terrible. I'm faster than my PC. This is really terrible, what, what, by the way. Um, oh, well. Um, that's life as it seems. So basically, we're creating a shot. Va shot and this one we will do tons of things to it later on but for now we just give it a few things so shot direction uh, god is our image angle now i have to write everything correctly Ugh. definitely not cool for me and then we give it a speed value speed i don't know let's go four mm, six so let's check it out how it does work because now this is a dummy, but theoretically it already works. So let's say emission of zero, left mouse button, nothing is happening, a weapon equipped and then boom, boom, boom. And we are creating a rainbow and stuff. Uh, <laughs> good. So this is what we definitely wanted to have. And then one last thing because we don't want it to be all the time shooting like crazy therefore we need to have some shooting mechanics and therefore we have a shoot timer and then i don't know let's go for 20 and then this timer is running down so let's go minus minus and then we say like hey if the timer is running down so if it's less than zero start shooting and here at this point then we say hey refresh it so shoot timer is 20. later we have to tweak this a little bit because um, every weapon shoots faster or slower so let's check this out but this should already work pretty neatly so three times per second we can actually uh, shoot so let's keep this up three Three shots per second is working, of course, for every weapon. And now you need, we need to do the last thing, um, subtract ammunition every time we are shooting. So here we have created um, our shot. And therefore we say like, hey, ammunition player minus minus. And at some point um, you will see that this uh, thing will go down and then, well, we can can throw everything away <laughs> did i delete it jesus Alrighty. come on come on let's start it again we are at 90 minutes all right we had 90 minutes way too long so let's check this out and now boom 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 we are getting rid of our ammunition and at some point this will go to zero and then we cannot shoot further uh, come on Alrighty, so that was it for today. Hopefully not a little bit too hectic from my side. And see you tomorrow for some really, really, really long tutorial on creating those shots. Because here we're going to do tons of things and this will look like a mess. So you can look forward to that. Have a good one. One up indie.